Hey guys, it's Kaz here and today I'm doing my February TBR. Not gonna lie, I'm filming this two weeks early because I'm kind of looking forward to it. Because in February, I am doing Scrabble Picks My TBR. Now I've seen loads of people do different games. I've seen like Snakes and Ladders and Monopoly, Bits and Bobs, D20s. I've not seen a Scrabble. If somebody has done it, then I've not seen it, but also shout out to them because Scrabble's awesome. But I thought about doing this a few months ago and I can finally do it and I'm glad. I genuinely play Scrabble quite a lot because my family's all nerds. So for my TBI in February, I'm gonna pick out seven tiles because obviously that's how many you get in Scrabble. And then each tile I pick out, that letter has to be the start of the book I read, of course. If I somehow manage to pick out one of the two blanks, I'm gonna make that as having to pick two books out. I'll explain that more if it even happens, but it's not very likely there's only two in there. And just like most other bookish rules, including libraries and Goodreads, the the at the beginning of a book can be discarded if needs be, but I feel like I've got books with every letter starting it, so it should be fine. I'm just gonna pick out seven straight away rather than one at a time because that's how you roll in Scrabble. So let's pick out seven. One, two, three, four, five. I have quite small hands. Six and seven. So what we have is we have a J, K, R, E, B, I, and M. To be fair, this is a pretty good selection of letters. I think I would probably write jerk for this if I was starting a Scrabble game and that would give me 30 points which to be honest is a lot better than I normally do with starting. I am terrible at starting. I always have a three letter word for a start because it's just not who I am. I'm not a Scrabble starter. So first of all I'm going to take you on over to my TBR crates because I'm not having what happened last year and having loads of TBR books at the end so let's see what we can tick off with these letters over there. Okay so for B I could have borrowed boy, I could do birthday, boy raised. There's quite a few different choices here. I don't think there's anything over there. I don't think there's anything for I here. Mm. Oh, I could start the Raven Boys, but obviously I want to read them all in one go, so I don't think that's a good idea. There's none for K, but for M I could read Mind Hunter, The Midnight Gardener. For J I could have James A. Caster's Classic Scrapes, so that's, well, three of these non-fiction. I could potentially pick one of them, and... Then nothing for E, I don't think. Not on it. Oh, Eliza and the Monsters. Oh, that's a good choice. I might pick that one. You'll see in like one second what I choose. So, I managed to pick quite a few off my yearly TBR. So, those are James Acaster's Classic Scrapes for Jay. This is James Acaster. He's a comedian. It's non fiction. Borrowed Boy by Jean Gant for B. This is about a boy who, when he's a teenager, finds out that he was stolen at birth and then sold into adoption. And that his biological parents want him back. But he's got a life, you know. Sounds interesting. Eliza and the Monsters by Francesca Zappia for E. This is a book that I've been wanting to read since it came out. So when I saw this and saw the E, I was like, yes, yes, let's get him read. This is about a girl that writes a online webcomic that's pretty damn popular. But she herself is anonymous. And then a new boy comes to school who is a massive fan of the comic and it sounds great. Another one on my yearly TBR that you didn't just see because all my graphic novels are not in the crate, that is Rat Queens Volume 2 for R. It's gonna be a fun time. It's fantasy, it has all these different characters that are different fantastical races, and it's just fun and crude and good. Another one on my yearly TBR, yes, I'm smashing them out, let's go, is Invisible by somebody that I can't remember, but it's one of my Kindle choices for my TBR of 2020. And all I know about this is it's a contemporary, the main character has a hearing aid, it's set at school, that's all I know. And then these last two are random picks, so for K, I've gone with Knife Edge by Mallory Blackman. I read Noughts and Crosses in January, this is the second book. I got a K for the letter, it's a perfect choice. Read it while I've still got in my memory what happened in the first book. That's how you're meant to read series. This is a sci-fi dystopian where race is flipped on its head and 
people of colour are in power and white people are the ones that have been oppressed and been slaves in the past and it's just a really great, well, I don't know if this one is, but the first one's really great. So hopefully this one will be as well. And then last but not least for M, I have The Music of What Happened by Bill Connisberg. I love the Openly Straight series by Bill Connisberg, so I've been wanting to read this and I own it and now I can read it. Good times. Gay contemporary is all I know, but I'm sure it's great. So there we go, that is my February TBR. Let me know down below if you enjoyed the way I did this, if you liked the whole Scrabble Picks my TBR. I thought it was fun, hopefully you did too. Also, let me know down below what you're reading in February or if you read any of these, which is the one you're most looking forward for me to read and see my opinions of. If this is your first video by me and you enjoy it, please check out some of the others. And if you continue to enjoy it, then please subscribe, that'd be awesome. Anyway guys, I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye.